Imagine a world without nuclear bombs. For a brief moment after 1945, that wasn't pure fantasy. It was a negotiation problem. Nations talked about banning tests, but trust collapsed on one issue, verification. You can catch explosions in the air or ocean. Underground tests, however, hide inside the Earth's constant rumble of small quakes. That's where math nearly changed history. Seismometers record messy signals made of many overlapping frequencies, like a song where drums, guitar, and vocals blur together. The discrete Fourier transform, DFT, can separate those ingredients, revealing telltale patterns that distinguish an earthquake from a bomb. The catch? DFT needs huge numbers of calculations, O of N squared. For long seismic recordings, mid-century computers would take absurdly long, too slow for real-time accountability. Then came the fast Fourier transform. In 1965, James Cooley and John Tukey published an approach that reused repeated patterns in the math, slashing the work to about n log base 2 of n. Suddenly, analyzing big signals became practical. The tragedy is timing. By the time FFT arrived, multiple nations already had nukes, and testing had shifted underground at a relentless pace. FFT went on to power everything from phones to Wi-Fi but it also remains the what-if algorithm, a tool that might have helped lock down a global test ban if it had appeared just a few years earlier.